Welcome to this presentation and demonstration of in-database data mining using the Oracle Advanced Analytics option, an option to the Enterprise Edition of the Oracle Database, for predictive analytics and classification problems, specifically using an insurance use case. This is our legal disclaimer we're always required to show. And now the Oracle Advanced Analytics option is an option to the database where, where we've brought algorithms to the data. So versus traditional t uh, data analysis platforms where they require you to pull the data out to separate servers and separate analytical and statistical engines, at Oracle we've decided to bring those algorithms to where the data resides, thus eliminating that, that whole step of moving the data back and forth. We feel that this gives you a better, simpler, more uh, simpler, more capable, scalable architecture for delivering better decisions and deeper insights using predictive analytics. And in doing so, provides a lower total cost of ownership. There are different ways of using the Oracle Advanced Analytics option. I'm going to primarily focus on the graphical user interface, which is part of SQL Developer. That is going to be using nodes that are going to drag and drop together to drive the SQL and PL SQL API that's going to drive the data mining algorithms that run natively inside the SQL kernel of the Oracle database. And you also have the option of using the popular open source R language to drive those same algorithms in a growing library of R packages. The problems of classification are exemplified, uh, I think, using this diagram, which tries to show how difficult the problem is with just two variables of finding uh, patterns hidden in the data. If I do a simple linear model, I can perhaps separate the guys in the red down here in the lower right from the people up in the upper left that are blue that are the more loyal customers. If I do a more complex model with some quadratic or cubic terms, perhaps I do a better job of picking up some of the blue people down here in the lower left and the red guy up here. But a decision tree would do a much better job and actually find these cut points and a nice byproduct of decision trees, one of the four classification techniques that we support natively inside the database, is that it provides these English-like rules that say, well, if customer months is greater than a certain number that was discovered by the machine learning techniques, and if income is greater than 90, another number that was discovered through iteration of all the various possibilities and cut points, then we found a pattern. And that pattern says that based on the historical data, based on eight out of eight people, I can say with confidence of 100%, if I find somebody uh, new that looks like these people, then I can say they're going to buy, they're going to, excuse me, they're going to churn. And the amount of the size of this segment that we found is eight out of 39 total records, or about 20%. Here we find another pocket of customers that are of interest to us, possibly a, a slightly lower confidence in our predictions there but also having a different behavior. So based on these profiles and based on these predictions, I could have more proactive marketing strategies to combat churn and retain these loyal customers. So what we do with Oracle Advanced Analytics is we provide insight using the data that you've managed uh, in inside the Oracle database, and we provide prediction. So in using the graphical user interface, ultimately we're going to build a workflow that looks a little bit like this. At the very end of that workflow, we can right mouse click and generate the whole SQL script to go directly to deployment. We think that's one of our really advantages and strengths of the Oracle in database platform. And we have a number of different graphical user interface model viewers and different nodes that help you assemble this methodology. So with that, let's get into this and go straight to the demo. So. What I'm using here is Oracle SQL Developer. It's a free graphical user interface for people who work with the Oracle database. Uh, you can download it from the Oracle Technology Network. And there's just a simple post-installation configuration for setting up the data mining capabilities. And if you Google uh, Oracle Advanced Analytics and Data Mining, you will find uh, those instructions. So the first thing I'm going to do is pick a data source. And what it does is it prompts me for those data sources that the DBA has given me access to. I can include tables and schemas, tables and views from other schemas. But I have this insurance customer lifetime value data set that I'm going to use here. And I can choose which variables I want to pull over for my analysis. I'm going to choose to bring in all of those variables. And the next thing I may want to do is I may want to explore this data by setting up some sort of um, uh, exploration uh, uh, techniques here where I'm going to actually build a number of different um, histograms, thumbnail histograms, and calculate a number of statistics on all that data. Now I've already set some of this stuff up uh, in advance here, so I am going to go directly to, to that right now and scroll down here just a little bit, and I have 
the same data set and I've already run this so let's go take a look at this first if I view the data here I see thumbnail histograms that I can click on each one and see what's going on in, uh, for each of the different variables and I've grouped them by our target field here which is buy insurance or don't buy insurance so we find only 27 percent of our population has actually bought insurance so we're keen to go find other prospective customers who fit this profile who would be likely to buy insurance so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some preparation and cleaning of the data this is one of the nodes we use over here in the transform area and let's take a quick look at this if I edit this node, I can see that we have uh, used the settings to automatically deal with nulls, missing values, uh, too many constants like a phone number or a zip code. We've actually nested in here an attribute importance, which is going to find those variables which have the strongest correlation with the target field. I can do stratified sampling, and it's really a lot of automation and machinery that's going on here. And after doing this, what the output is that tells us what those variables are that have the strongest relationship with my target field. It tells me which variables are those ones that have too many uniques or too many nulls and it gives me suggestions over here on whether I should include or exclude those variables from my analysis. And If I simply light this all up and go up here and take the recommendations then it'll go off and, and do all that. But I've already done all that in the uh, uh, sense of saving some time here let's move on to the next step. Now I've dragged and dropped a classification node on the uh, workflow here. So we've set this up. It will automatically build the four different classification types of problems that I uh, that we support natively inside the database. If I wanted to add more, I simply click and I could run 5, 10, or 20 different models rather easily. And Oracle Advanced Analytics will take advantage of the scalability uh, and performance of the database. The variables that I'm going to use are going to be buy insurance for my target field and I can turn on or off these different variables and have them included or excluded from the model um, and I have different mining types and there's going to be a lot of automatic data preparation so I don't really have to worry about uh, a lot of the uh, uh, things that you typically do with more manual data mining processes. We realize we're going to be mining large amounts of data and hundreds or thousands of variables uh, inside the database so we um, want to be as automated as possible. If you want to override those you always can. We've run our models uh, already, so let's compare the results. There's different ways of doing this, so we're going to look at the uh, lift chart, one of the techniques, which shows me uh, the predictive um, advantage of uh, the, the, the incremental value of using predictive models that says, here's my random guess if I'm trying to find those people who are likely to buy insurance. But if I look at this model up here, I think it's the decision tree uh, model, it gets a much higher lift that says, if I'm going after the population, 30% into it, 35%, I found 35% of the people who are likely to respond, which were only 27% of the total population. But using this predictive model, I found as many as 80% of the people I'm looking for, so I'm doing that in a much more efficient way. Going back to our uh, workflow and moving along rather quickly through this demo, I want to now show you that we have different types of models. We have things like support vector machines. Here I'm going to show a generalized linear model with just saying for the target field, yes, here are the standardized coefficients showing those variables that have the strongest correlation. So I can sort these by absolute value or not, um, however I want to set this all up. And that's another model, one of our four different uh, techniques that we support natively inside the database. The one that a lot of people like to look at is a decision tree because it's very easy to interpret, it's very visual. So here we have the total population, as we can see, 27% of the people did buy insurance, most did not, and as I start sifting through this data, uh, sifting through this decision tree, um, scrolling down further and further, I find ever more homogeneous subpopulations that have been discovered through the data mining techniques that in this case if bank funds is greater than that number checking amount is less than that and so on then I have people who are very likely to buy uh, in fact over here they are 88 percent likely to buy here they're 63 percent likely to buy here they're 85 percent likely to buy so so why bother why, why go after those people so I can actually apply this predictive model to new sets of data make predictions maybe take the prediction the prediction probability times a dollar amount and prioritize my customers based on that. So I've done that here. I've taken my customers, a new set of customers. Mm -hmm. I've taken the, the output of that um, down below here. So if I wanted to show my um, view, my properties down at the bottom. So I've bu built several different models here and I'm only going to actually flow one model forward just for simplicity here. So I've done that. I flowed the model through to here and I've set this up where I'm just looking for the prediction probability. 
I can set this up to be prediction cost, prediction details, a number of different options uh, here to set. Just I want to I want to see in this case those people who are most likely to say yes, I will buy insurance. I've done that. I've also added some other data, and if I look at the results. Then I get a table, which again is just a table or a view inside the Oracle database. And here's the uh, customers sorted in order, or I can sort those now if I want to, sort ascending. And this is just a table or a view inside the database, which I can join to other tables and views. I can also take this whole process that I've done, I can generate this all as a SQL script. So if I want to go straight to some sort of deployment, then I can go off and, and just take that whole flow that I've set up and deploy that as a SQL script and immediately go to production. So I can set that all up there. And the last thing I wanted to show was that this, of course, could be part of an application. And here's an Oracle Communications data model where we've done upstream some clustering, which I'll cover in another uh, uh, YouTube uh, demo. But if I've done different clustering, I can apply the clustering model to the customers, sort them in different sort of unsupervised learning clustering bins, and then for each one of those I have different uh, probabilities that the customer is going to leave or stay. I can actually get the description of who those people are uh, in greater detail. So there is it all in sort of a nutshell, and if you are interested in learning more about this, there are training materials that are out there on the Oracle Technology Network. Just Google for them and you'll find them. You can also send me a personal email if you'd like and I'll send you my favorite links with links to more information. And there's no real format or a capability for questions here, but thank you for your time in watching this presentation and demonstration of Oracle Advanced Analytics. Thank you.